Braden Wingrove, a senior over at Hilton High, is a member of the track and field team, plays Barra Sax, was in two school plays, and as if this wasn't enough, he even built his own scooter to help him get around. Dan Gross explains. Perhaps needless to say, Braden is a determined young man with a clear goal when he started a class called STEM Exploration. At first, Mr. Randall thought it wouldn't be possible for us. That goal to build this special vehicle. But Mr. Randall did acquiesce and he bought two of them. Braden's ride here was made from a kit from a company called Infento. It's, it, it has sensors on the left side and the right side of it. What, so what? So I know which way to steer. If it was going to make a high-pitched sound, I know I would have to steer to the right. If it was making a low-pitched sound, I, I know to steer to the left. Braden has a visual impairment, and although he has a one-to-one -one at school, Kelly Ramble says he is very independent, and she says Braden alone made this project happen. Braden talked to Mr. Randall and got the whole thing moving. Braden also worked with two classmates, Tim Cheney and Austin Schulz Allen. I think I made an outstanding amount of progress since day one. It, it took us three weeks to build this vehicle. And Braden says that he got just a little bit of help from the robotics teacher on programming the vehicle, but that's it. And besides the reward of a job well done, I can definitely navigate the halls with this at school. Reporting in Hilton, Dan Gross, News 8. All right, how cool is that? Mr. Randall bought two kits, one scooter for Braden and a bike for the rest of the class. At the end of the year, they're going to race.